Good morning, everybody. We're going to quickly cover documents 365 and 366 that was just released on the Oak Block Rico case. Now, just for fun, I actually got the head stamps of all the bullets that they mentioned in the state case file. And that's for anybody that knows anything about bullets, guns, ballistics, any of that fun stuff. As well as the gun on the left is the gun that Duck's girlfriend used. And the gun on the right is the one that they were comparing it to from another case. And it did not match. Now here on document 365. You can see where they said they're going to go back to court at 9.15 in the morning. But also the government's motion to transport firearm related evidence from 363 is granted. Let's look at that real quick. Now for the ones that may have missed it the other day when we went over document 363 where the government's motion is to carry a firearm and firearm related evidence for trial. However, you notice nowhere in this document does it say that it was an actual weapon that was used in the incident or the homicide of FBG Duck. It's just to show the jury an example. And then on 366, the court judge approves that the Federal Bureau of Investigations and CPD will be permitted to transport and carry firearms, fire shell casings, fire bullets, and any other firearm-related evidence into the Durkinson Federal Courthouse into courtroom 2541 for trial, and that it will be rendered safe and inoperable, and the U.S. Marshals is going to inspect. And for those of y'all that really are interested in the ballistics part of this i'm leaving it, this on here for about 30 seconds feel free to take a screenshot zoom in whatever you need to do so that you can read all the head stamps on the expended shell cases y'all have a great day be safe